Hi, I'm Rick Maroya. I'm a licensed mental health counselor. As a psychotherapist, my private practice is in Seattle, Washington. Oftentimes, when people come in to see me, it might be a complaint uh, about anger. And as we develop trust in one another, we discover that um, there's been some trauma in their life. And trauma is defined as anything psychologically or emotionally disturbing to that individual. One of the benefits of using EMDR is when we do the trauma work, when we have to go into the event itself, there doesn't have to be a lot of talking. Um, the, if it's a sexual assault victim, she doesn't have to tell me all the details of what happened to her. There are two parts of the brain, right and left hemisphere, and what EMDR seems to have an effect on is the bilateral stimulation, which is uh, created either by moving the eyes back and forth or by things called therotappers. There's a part of uh, uh, the brain where it's connected by the corpus callosum, like a telephone connection. And so by using the bilateral stimulation, it initiates activation of this particular part of the brain and it talks to the right and left hemisphere uh, of the brain so that whatever is stored through memory networks and channels it's being processed and integrated in the present while we're focusing on whatever uh, caused this disturbance in the past. It's really amazing as a therapist how much we learn from our clients, what they can teach us. And then to apply what I do know as a psychotherapist for their situation. And I think that's what uh, therapy is kind of all about. It should be all about the client and where they want to go and what they want to get done.